First tonight, the imposition of Sharia law by the so-called Islamic State in the Middle East has caused many in the West to recoil. But you may not be aware that similar Islamic laws are now in force much closer to home in the Indonesian province of Aceh. Strict new laws there are subjecting both Muslims and non-Muslims to harsh punishments for drinking alcohol, gambling, homosexuality and extramarital sex. Patrick Abood travelled to Aceh where he gained unprecedented access to the province's notorious morality squad. She broke Islamic dress code. He was caught gambling. This is life under Sharia law. I'm in the city of Longza in the Indonesian province of Aceh. The Sharia police control the streets here. Kalau hukum Islam yang sesungguhnya, laki-laki yang sudah beristri, perempuan yang sudah bersuami, dia harus ditanam di tengah jalan. Captain Ibrahim Latif is in charge. Ditanam yang laki-laki ditanam sampai sini. Siapa di persimpangan jalan, siapa yang lewat harus melemparnya sampai ia mati. Yang perempuan karena dia sudah punya suami, dia harus ditanam sampai di sini dan dilempar sampai mati. The law he and his Sharia police team are enforcing is not justice as most of us would know it. Their work is all in the name of Allah. Selaku se seorang Muslim, saya bertanggung jawab juga kepada Allah, jadi untuk menegakkan amal ma'ruf nahi munkar. This is the first time Captain Latif has allowed cameras to follow him and his Sharia police team so closely. Today we're at one of their routine street raids. A checkpoint is set up and within minutes dozens of women are being pulled over. The female Sharia officers interrogate the women about their clothing. These girls were on their way to school. Their bodies are covered head to toe, but their pants are too tight and their hijabs too revealing. Captain Latif, those girls told me they're just 15. Are they not too young to be punished? Ah, uh, bisa 15 tahun, bisa 9 tahun. Jadi kalau dia sudah datang hit, sudah wajib hukum syara kepadanya. Yang laki-laki, apabila dia telah mengalami mimpi-mimpi basah. In addition to strict Islamic dress codes and harsh punishments for adultery, living with Sharia law in Aceh, Muslim or not, demands no alcohol, no gambling, no homosexuality. Sharia law here also prevents single men and women from showing public affection. If you dare disobey Sharia law in Aceh, the penalties are severe. Caning is common, in extreme cases, up to 100 lashes. Some crimes come with a prison term of more than three years. Others escape physical harm and instead pay a fine of up to 800 grams of gold. And punishments are set to get even worse under Captain Latif's deadly rule. 
Itu terbukti orang mencuri, itu bisa dipotong tangan, terbukti yang membunuh, kita bila siap melakukan hukum kisas. Aceh is the only part of Indonesia allowed to enforce Islamic Sharia law. It's been implemented here since 2001, when Aceh gained some powers of autonomy. This 16-year-old schoolgirl was arrested by Sharia police in 2012, accused of immorality. There was no proof, but Captain Latif had the arrest publicised. Devastated, she hung herself, leaving this suicide note. Father, forgive me. I have brought shame on you in the eyes of everyone, but I can honestly say that I have never sold my body to anyone. I will be sad not to see you again. Her parents are still too afraid to speak out. Her uncle says the family will never recover. <laughs> In May this year, a 25-year-old woman was discovered in this house with a married man. Eight vigilantes, including a 13-year-old boy, gang raped her. Maksud saya bukan mengajak, tetapi mengundang, mengundang laki-laki tadi karena si perempuan ini berpakaian super seksi. Saya rasa laki-laki normal. Itu akan terpancing itu. Three of her rapists have since been arrested and are in custody to be tried by the National Criminal Court System. However, the rape victim has gone into hiding, fearing retribution. If found guilty of adultery under Captain Latif's version of Sharia law, she will be caned. Jambukannya tidak sakit, tetapi yang membuat dia adalah malu. Di depan umum, itu harapan kita supaya menjadi jerah dan menjadi pelajaran kepada yang lain. Human Rights Watch is urging the Indonesian government to revoke the implementation of Sharia in Aceh. The Indonesian government, the Jokowi administration, should stop it, should reverse it. If it is not to be reversed, it is going to bring Indonesia into a great problems. The reason is simple: a modern society cannot move forward if they leave half of the society members, women in this case, behind. For the people of Aceh remains shrouded in fear.